Hi, I'm Janie Lawson and I'm a milliner. I run the Glam Hatters Tea Parties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hair accessories. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a peacock fascinator. So we're going to start by using a piece of cinema. Now I've cut my pattern to, be, to turn out to be an oval. You can really use whatever shape you like. Just cut a shape on a pattern and just use the half of it. This one, if you wanted to make this shape, is seven and a half centimetres by five centimetres. But you can make it as big or as small as you like. And we're using cinema for the base. So with my scissors, I cut around the pattern then I take off the paper open out the pattern and that's a double piece of cinema there so you end up with a double piece for the base of your fascinator. Now I've got three peacock feathers and what I like to do because they look a bit you know messy I give them a little haircut so I'm just going to trim around to get rid of the messy pieces and also then it means all the attention is on the eye of the peacock which is a really, really gorgeous part of it. So you're going to be using a double thread, not too long and you want a nice big knot at the end. Now with the cinema it's got quite big holes in it, I do what I call a lasso stitch, which means you don't have to tie a massive knot. So I stitch through, keeping part of the thread on the other side, so I'm not pulling it through all the way. Then I'm stitching from the front to the back, and I'm going in between the thread. So I'm just catching the first stitch in a little lasso. You only need to do it on the first stitch, or each time you start off a new piece of thread. Then I'm going to arrange my peacock feathers. So I think I want them, I've got, ended up with a big one and two small ones. So I'm going to put the big one in the middle, two small ones on each side. So I know I want them about that stage there. So I'm just going to stitch around the stems to get them in place. And I'm not going through the stems because they're quite delicate and you don't want to snap them. But because you've got the, the feathers coming off the stems, they won't move around, they'll stay where you stitch them. So I'm putting three stitches into each peacock feather to hold it in place. So that's one in. Then I've got my big one to go in the middle. I'm just going to take the pin out of the way. And that's the top of my fascinator. I'm just going to pop my curvy pin onto the bottom, which will keep it in place. So, take another double thread. And the easiest way to pop the pin on is to just lift the cinema so that you're not stitching through the feathers. And I'm going to stitch the curvy pin on by putting it sideways on and you're stitching through the curvy side. And I'm doing that lasso stitch again that I showed you at the beginning so that it doesn't flip through. And now I'm just stitching on the curvy pin, being careful not to pull my peacock feathers out. Oops. Okay. You need about three or four stitches just to keep it in place because this is what's going to keep the fascinator on your head. So it's quite an important part. So here we go. There we go. Make sure I haven't got my feathers. I'm 
just be really, <clears throat> really delicate with your feathers. So there's another stitch. Now you will find, if you're using Cinema, that because it's quite a raw edge, your thread does get caught up on it. But just stay calm and be patient because it's going to look really lovely. And just make sure you're pulling the threads through each time. Pop those back out. There we go. And now I'll do one last stitch. So that's my hairpin on. And now I'm just going to go with my stitch to the back. So I can do a double stitch here and make sure it's all nice and secure. That's one, two, and stitch back through the loop of the stitch. And then you can just twist your peacock feathers so that you've got a bit more texture, so they're not just lying flat. And that is how you make a peacock fascinator.